wir, wenn ihr... Wir play. Oh, <lacht> okay. Das war Andy Powers und Taylor Seo. Wir hatten Taylor Guitars und Andy Powers uh, geben uns ein bisschen Tapping Lesson auf Akustik Guitars. <lacht> okay, now, to be serious. <laughs> And that's all. That's the new stuff from Taylor. Now we're here to talk about the new guitars. We got the Grand Pacific, Andy. Yes, um, we do. We got This a one is a 512. Now, but that's not the Grand Pacific, to make it clear. No. That's the Grand Con So the guitar that I've got in my hands, this is a 517 Grand Pacific Builders Edition. Now, as you've uh, as we've talked about, this is a whole different style of guitar for us, a whole different flavor. It's a new body size. New body shape, all built around the V-Class architecture. Right. So in so many ways, that idea is gives us a platform to work from, to build different styles of guitar. Not just like diff slightly different shades or different subtle iterations of the guitar, but in an entirely different musical personality. So you said it's um, the, the V-Class bass is kind of the, the basic structure of the new guitars yeah. is it that way yeah it is so both of, in this case both of these guitars are v-class guitars they're both using the same basic structure all right but that structure allows us so much control over the way the guitar is working that we can take the characteristics we like the volume the sustain the incredible intonation you know, five balances like yeah like right exactly here. Okay. you take those things you go well i love these but i don't want all the guitars to sound the same so They're it's easier to tweak, like it the is. sounds? Okay. So you go, you could deliberately build in one sound. Like, right. you, like okay. you first saw last year with the Grand Auditorium guitars. Those are ultra-modern pieces. Yeah, that's what we talked about. They're like kind of precise and everything. And every note is like... very precise. Uh, uh, a triangle? Yeah, to make it exactly. Visible. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's a, to me, it's a piano-like sound. Okay. So you think of sitting down in front of a piano and you play a chord, and you can hear every, every single note, note in right. that chord. That's what that 814 or one of those Builders Edition K14s okay. is like. This guitar, this Grand Pacific, is like taking that same chord and playing it on an organ. All right, it, it kind of moves the, the, the sound, the notes. Yeah, move you don't you don't hear them as individual pitches. Mm -hmm. okay. You hear the chord where they all blend into right. each other. Okay. That's what gets built into this guitar. So this one has this, you know, unique neck profile. Yeah, Everything's well, made more changing the like really comfortable. Position of the hand. Yeah. yeah. Now if I transition and talk about this for yeah. a minute here. Is it the same new neck profile? No, this is a classic Taylor okay. neck. Excuse me guys, you gotta turn it more, more to the mic, please. Okay. Yes, sir. Thanks. Yes. Thanks. So this guitar is a 512 12 fret. Right. Okay. okay. Because new for this year we're introducing the V-Class architecture to all of our grand concert bodies. Okay. We're starting with the 3, 5, and 800 series. Optionally, or is it like for... This is going to become the new standard. Okay. Because what we find is this guitar, it simply works better. Okay, well, that's easy. Now, it's, it's really exciting for me because every one of these guitars, they become a more distinct personality. Okay, so you're sharpening like the character with the V-Class bracing? Exactly, okay. it okay. reveals more of each instrument's character. Right. I mean, how many times have you lined up like a bunch of guitars with different woods and we talk about them as, oh, this one is very different than that and very different yeah. from this, as if they were different instruments and they are. But the reality is, yeah, they sound like guitars. Are, yeah, it's like guitars. Yeah, right. <laughs> you, know? okay. yeah, you listen and, to them. Yeah, you know, the difference between like mahogany and, 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 and rosewood is like it's there, but it's, it's sometimes there, but more yeah, subtle than. It's a guitar. Ones. Yeah. You play a song on it. You know? Yeah, okay, right. Yeah. Just play the song. Yeah. You know? <laughs> play the song. Stop tuning already. Shut up and play the song. <laughs> well, with the V class architecture, all of those distinctions, right. they become more noticeable. They're more exaggerated. Okay. So the pick you use, the strings you put on it, All of those things, they become a stronger flavor. Okay. And so when I play this guitar, this is Lutz Spruce with mahogany on the back okay. and sides. Very, again, it's a very modern sound. But a vastly different type of sound and personality than that Grand Pacific guitar. Oh, yeah. So it's like the V-Class, uh, the uh, better 
like ground for building guitars. Like it's more solid than uh, yeah. whatever. X it's it version. has a, it's a platform. Think okay. of it as a platform oh, yeah, to start building right. from, and that platform allows for a lot of okay. various flavors right. because it gives you so much control. Okay, it's it's, it's, con it's control the main thing. Yeah. The, the most it important is. reason. It is because as a builder, it moves in such an orderly and well-behaved way. Okay. It's as if the guitar wants to work. Okay. And so you know where the guitar will go if you do this or that, and you don't have to. Exactly. Well, maybe it will. Yeah, because okay. most conventional designs, if you make one little alteration, it translates to well, you altered that, but it sh also showed up as yeah. this negative side effect okay. over here okay so there's a there's always, there's always a trade-off yeah, right. okay you know you get a little more of this at the expense of that okay. or a little more of this but at the detriment It'll cost of you this. that okay. exactly okay. and this design allows us more independence of all the factors to go well how do i want so the you guitar can, to sound you, you can add like more highs without losing yeah. mids or bass exactly okay so you get to choose what you want that thing flavored like. So in this case, we're building all these guitars. This one's a GC, or a grand concert right. size. And it has that lovely mahogany flavor with spruce. But it's got this beautiful, kind of intimate voice. Yeah, Kans? You, can, you can play. That's what I told him. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, cool. Thank. Thanks. It's my pleasure. Yeah, thank you for coming pleasure. by. This is, it's so fun to get to make these guitars and be working on them, finally get them to the point where we go, okay, try, you guys, try. Can, you get to have fun yeah, with I mean, it too. I tried them this is they great. Really, they sound as good as I, as I remember them. It was really well, fun playing at home. Thank yeah, you. Because I'm like, glad yeah, to hear it's it. It's a cool guitar. It's like, um, I think... It's the the most traditional sound a tailor ever sounded without like making the other ones say they're worse or whatever. I mean, it's just like they're it's different. like that's a cool guitar for classy whatever bluegrass blues yeah. songwriters. It's not that modern thing. So yeah, I think it's a cool new sound. I like them. Yeah, me too. They're good. To, they're good guitars for playing songs with. Definitely, yeah. And that's what guitars are meant to be, right? That's how I see it. Yeah. Thanks. Any powers from Taylor? Thanks. I appreciate you guys coming to visit. Uh, uh, uh.